Hello again. Um, thank you very much for watching our videos from Billingsgate Roman House and Baths. This is our next one. Um, we're talking to Judith Doby again of Historic England, who we've talked to before. She's an archaeological illustrator who did a little bit of reconstruction drawing and painting of our site um, and we loved it absolutely loved it and we really wanted to um, get her on our series of talks so that um, you can um, see the process that she went through when um, going uh, doing her her work um, so Judith welcome again lovely to, to see you again hello um, we are obviously talking about Billingsgate Roman House and Baths. There were a few series of bathhouses in the City of London. Um, there were public baths down here um, on Huggin Hill. There were public baths somewhere up here on Cheapside. I can't quite remember where, I think it's there. Um, and, but ours is down here and this is this little purple place here um, was actually a domestic house or possibly an inn, Mancio, and it had a private bathhouse attached to it later um, in its life. Uh, so in the last video with Judith, um, she talked us through her process of reconstructing the building, but we um, wanted, we, well, she very kindly created another picture for us um, of some people in the inside, because, you know, you really want to have people um, in these reconstructions. Um, and um, she's going to quickly talk us through what she did for that. So this is the plan of the of the site, and uh, which you saw a little bit of last time. So this is one wing of the house, and this is the bathhouse. And it's actually this little bit here, isn't it, Judith? Yes, that's right. So we're looking at the seat for two people. Yeah. So this is the warm room. You see, the furnace is there, and so that room there would have been the hottest because it was closest to the furnace. And then this room, un the, the hot air would have gone under this corridor here into this room and it would have cooled down a little bit along the way. So this was the warm room, which was known as the tepidarium. Um, and it had a seat built into the wall there. So talk us through your process, Judith, about how you created our little, and we'll show you the finished thing in a minute. <laughs> well, um... When you, th when you hear the word Roman baths, you imagine it's going to be somewhere like, as like a swimming pool. But actually, this wasn't like that at all, was it? It's more like a Turkish bath mm. with these three little rooms, the th three different stages that you went through. Yeah. And so you start in the warm room to warm yourself up and get used to the atmosphere. And it wasn't like, um, you know, it was more than somewhere you went to clean yourself. It was, it was about recreation, about relaxing, about chatting, maybe gambling, all sorts of things. So it was, it was more than just having a good wash. And you'd start off in, in the warm room and sort of acclimatise to that and relax a bit. And I imagine them sitting a couple of people on, on the seat in there. And then you'd go through when you were ready, you'd adapt it a bit into the hot room. And um, that was where, where my pit my picture of the, it was like, um, you know, it was, they threw a lot of water on, on the hot, on the hot oh, floor. Oh, this picture, yes. Yeah, that's right. So they threw the water on the hot floor and it was, there was a lot of steam. And so of course your, your pores of your skin would open and all the grime and dirt would come out. And you didn't have any, you didn't have soap, they didn't use soap, they used um, oil. So you put oil on your skin and then they used a, what's called a strigil and that's that implement that I've done the man. He would scrape his limbs with this. this and then curve, spray it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a sort of bent bit of metal with a handle. And so they scrape their limbs with that and then all the dirt and grime would be poured away. And then once you might have a massage there afterwards as well. And once you've got past that stage, you go back to the tepidarium, don't you, to the warm room. Yes. So you back go back here. there. And then you'd acclimatise, get over being so hot, I imagine. And then you go into the cold room and then go in, you put more oil on you on yourself and then into the 
the cold water tank yeah, which yeah. is quite little isn't it it's surprisingly little it is i wonder whether if people sat in there and got water poured over them yes. or whether they just stood outside it and kind of leaned in i don't know um which quite, yeah, they, it's quite deep so you could maybe it would come up to your chest or something wouldn't it if you stood in it possibly um yeah. yes and certainly and you put the cold water so that your pores then all close don't you at the yes. end of your bath yeah and then you'd come out and have a, a sort of rub down with the towel or something. And then you'd be all ready for your evening meal and going out in the town in London. Yeah. Um, so um, when I, so that was, that's a drawing using, it's called using the stridge or that. Um, I think you didn't do this one for us, did you? You did that before. No, I did it for another, for another publication. And, but it seemed sort of apt. You yes. Know, so it fitted in quite well. And then so I was thinking about doing the two people on the seat in the in the warm room and I was thinking about, um, you know, how they did they did games and wrestling and, and um, sort of, you know, things like that. So I had two. my first idea was that I did this. These are pencil sketches. So I did two boys wrestling and then the two men sitting on the um, seat behind. Yeah. And then I. I went on with the two men sitting on the seat behind, tried that, just those two, just chatting. And then, so it's sort of trying out ideas. So then I developed the two men sitting on the seat a bit more. And that's the door you can see on the left. That's the door that you would have come in. Yeah. And then, bit... Yes. And then there, there was a little niche. That's the right. The seat. Yeah. Yes. And the, the, one of the difficulties was, of course, that people be mostly naked or possibly draped with a linen towel in place, yeah. you know. So to do that strategically was quite, quite well done. Thank you, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, we had another request, didn't we, when you showed us this? <laughs> if we show you the next one, we wanted, oh, we thought maybe women would be in there. Yes. I mean, there's only one set of rooms for the bath, for the whole system, so the cold, mm warm and hot rooms and um in the public baths they they usually two sets of of these rooms aren't there so that women can be in one women and girls in one and boys and men in the other um but it's a private bathhouse and we thought well you know maybe they yeah, why not both went in at the same time maybe women had it one day a week and men had it other days a week <laughs> so we asked you um to think about a couple of women didn't we so I had two women and a child, and then we thought, well, maybe we'd just have two women. We've got the next one. So that's the yeah. two women. And is that the finished picture? I'm not quite I sure. I think it is, yes, I think it so. It is. So I finished it, it's done pen and ink, and then with, with graphite. And so that was the finished picture. That's what we went with in the end. But you can see that you, I mean, it's usual to try out a lot of different things and see what works, you know, best. So yeah. And at, at their feet, there are a couple of objects based on things that you would find in the bathhouse, aren't there? And actually, their shoes as well. Oh, right. Yeah, well, like, yes. I, I think that there was definitely a flask like that, the bits from the excavation, wasn't there? Yes, yeah. And it probably would have had oil in it. Yeah. Oil flask. And then um, uh, found at other sites, actually, not at ours, sadly, but there are some wooden clogs are almost like flip-flops aren't they where yes. uh, that probably would make it safer to walk on the floors which could get quite hot yes i hadn't really thought about that that's true <laughs> <laughs> um so we yeah this we were very very pleased with this um final sketch um actually there are some sketch some of the um judith's early sketches um uh, have been made available on our website um, as colouring sheets for little ones as well. And so I hope that's all right, Judith. <laughs> we thought um, it'd be it, so an early sketch of the house and this early sketch and this um, line drawing as well of the two women. Um, you can colour them in yourself and see what you think about uh, what, what kind of colours would be there, which is quite nice. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> So um, thank you very much. If you have any questions for Judith as well, um, maybe about how to go about 
thinking about people from a previous um, period and um, where to find information about how they looked if you want to do your own reconstruction or any questions about um, about this work then do get in touch you can find our email address on the website ld sorry city of london dot gov dot uk forward slash bathhouse and on twitter we are ldn for november roman baths um, and you we've got our facebook page too where you can find it if you search for billingsgate roman house and baths um, so do get in touch if there's um, any questions that you have but thank you so much judith for doing these couple of videos for us it's been really great to talk to you um, and we'll let you know if there's any feedback. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs>